Namaste to all. Um, so I am Venkatesh. I am with SRM for last 20 years. To give a small uh, uh, detail on my brought up, I have been uh, brought up in Ramakrishna Ashram, which is a Gurukulam type of education with modern education. So we study all Vedic scriptures along with uh, matriculation syllabus once when we were in school. Now, but matriculation is no more in Tamil Nadu. So certain things, you know, is integral part of my life. For example, that's the reason why, how I meddle to have cows with me here at Guduvancheri. It's Though, you know, society looks at it in a different view, but I feel it as my integral part of my family. So animals, so society is part of my family. So we do everyday puja at temple. So we, we take care of the priest who is there since they don't have a salary on monthly basis. So these are all integral part of our family. So it's, uh, you know, the way that we were brought up by all sannyas and sisters who, you know, who has uh, given their life for upliftment of society. So though we are in a married, uh, though I am in a married uh, life, but I feel whomever I see as one in my family. That is our nature. You can ask even my friends, any lady that whom I talk to, I, I put them in a position of a sister. We, we don't have any other observation other than that. That is how we were brought up. And here... After coming to EHV, you know, I was literally, I could see them as modern Krishna. Bhagavad Gita said in the other terms, I don't know, but I, 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 I don't know whether I can say it or not. These are the sayings which is there as an integral part of Bhagavad Gita and other things. So observing self, when you talk in terms of Bhagavad Gita and other things, then we go in a religious way. But this is, you know, very, it, it's very neatly designed and it, it is the essence what Krishna wants to teach or what he learned or what he practiced in life. So I, I feel, you know, very attached towards all the contents that is being done. And we are very grateful being at this, uh, you know, uh, level. These people were getting such information to us in a modern way so that we can take it to our students. And as a practice, every year I used to go to uh, either Kedarnath or Chardam Yatra or Amarnath, anywhere. So whenever I go, I used to take a few students whom I like most that year when I am teaching. Since we go for two, three sections in a year. So I pick students, but I don't tell them. I, we, we, I, I pick them, I call them separately, talk with their parents, then I take them along with me. Likewise, in the year 2013, when Kedarnath flood was there, I was there in the temple. I have been part along with all 13 students they were all PG and B.Tech students of same SRM University. No, you know, I was alone there, but everyone vanished. But, you know, it was God's prayer and his blessings. After searching around the hills for four or five days, I could trace them all one by one slowly. Collectively, we all came down. No one, we have lost our life. And we were the eyewitness. How, you know, when we were seeing that, uh, work, you know, as science, uh, work of science, when we were seeing at that level, I was, you know, feeling much connected to it. Since they were all man-made tra tragedy, it was not a natural calamity. They say it's a cloud burst, but it's fake. It's utter fake. They, they are hiding it. The reason is that all companies like uh, Hiranandani, JK, who are all making power through hydroelectricity in Himalayan ranges, they create artificial storage and then and there in the Himalayan regions. So it is the breach of those, you know, bonds which created such flash flood, washing away minimum of 20 to 25,000 lives in no time. And in none of the movie, even taking to a Hollywood movie, I would never hear such, you know, sound of the nature, the aggressiveness of the nature, the water that was flooding through. Today we are seeing that Bhima stone behind Kedarnath temple, you know, but where did that come from? Even I don't know. It was never there before. A big Shankara mutt was just beside the temple. I don't know whether somebody visited Kedarnath before the flash flood. You know, the, the pillar size will, will be at least six by six feet of that mutt. Not even a single, you know, iron rod is found today there. So everything was taken away other than the temple. The reason why I'm saying is that everything is out of, you know, our science. We try to explore it. We try to experiment it only for making money. They, they store so much of water when the ice melts, you know, to use, get it used for the other days of 365 days to make hydroelectricity. 
So if Tehri Dam was not there, I don't think today Rishikesh would have been there and other, you know, uh, including other places on the banks of Ganges may be there. Since that was the flow which we could find there. So taking this, you know, uh, so even till today, I have a practice of taking students with me for every part, wherever I go. And whenever I feel that I have to go for a holiday trip, it will be definitely a holy trip, but associated with some sort of trekking. So even last week, last month, we took people to uh, a hill nearby Koyambutur, uh, Velayangiri Hills. So we, we keep this as practice. And here at SRM University, you know, I'm very much thankful to the management since they don't come and stop me at any point of time. They don't say that you are not supposed to do this. English, Maya, would you come to the uh, your exploration yeah. regarding the yeah, with, regarding So what I could say is that the contents that was thought, which we have explored all these eight days, are integral part of our culture and they have done it in a nice way. So being part of it, I would like to take it to all levels of students and explore along with them and get them, you know, unified with oneness of uh, feeling and happiness among all. Thank you. Uh, what I feel is that we have to actually look at the other two forms, how signs of work could be applied to us and we should ensure that we connect it with our life. That can, you know, ensure harmony in nature. That is what is required. The reason of COVID is also that, I think. Future plan is I'll be attending regularly morning sessions from the next batch once it is announced. I have decided to do that. And also as a role of, uh, you know, human education, I'll, I'll give my part, even out of my workload, I'll go for at least one UHV session for students every year, every semester. Thank you.